He is ITV's political editor, who's often seen putting Boris through his paces at the five o'clock press, press briefings. Well, Robert Peston is taking on a new challenge. He signed up for All Star Musicals, where he'll be treading the boards under the guidance of musical superstar Elaine Page. I'm playing this uber cool gangster called Sky Masterson. Luck be a lady. Sorry, my fault. Who is nothing like me. You're all like this and kind of like very British. I don't think it had occurred to him really that the guy's an American gambler. Luck be a lady tonight. He's not an actor, he's not a singer, but he's taking this really seriously. He wants to do his best, you know. Right. <laughs> and Robert joins us now. Good morning. It's lovely to see you. So lovely to see you. I, I love those Irish dancers. We talk about sublime to the ridiculous, but there you go. <laughs> Listen, you say ridiculous. I've got a strange fascination with this. I'm slightly... Because I feel like this is taking you so far out of your comfort zone. But then when I was reading the brief this morning, I was like, hang on a minute. Is it taking you out of your comfort zone? What's singing your first love? Yeah, look, I, I, I love singing. Uh, I've loved singing all my life. Um, I mean, I've never done anything sort of serious like this. Um, you, you probably, you're probably aware we did the big show a couple of days ago. And it was, look, it was a very stressful day. But the whole process of having a professional singing coach, went to see one, uh, uh, you know, once a week, working with an amazing choreographer, a bloke called Bill Demo, uh, who's, you know, one on Olivier and, you know, is sort of respected all over the world. I mean, just, just working with that, those high quality people, it is, uh, it's a privilege. And so I've, I've, I, I massively enjoyed uh, the process of, of learning. Um, and people can judge how much of a fool I made of myself <laughs> on the actual side. Um, but I don't have any regrets about it. I mean, it was sort of a dream. It was sort of a dream come true. Um, I grew up with musicals uh, in, in, in the sense that my mum and dad, and particularly my late dad, absolutely loved the old Hollywood uh, and, and Broadway musicals. And so, you know, it was sort of, you know, Robert, have you got a sort of fantasy thing you want to do? Uh, 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 when ITV turned up and asked me if I wanted to do this, and and um, so yeah, it's been great. Do you think? Um, do you think there was an element? That, I mean, obviously, you have that lovely background with your your, your dad, who uh, who loved musicals. Um, I think he lived in America for a little bit of time in the nineteen fifties. You then you've got your mum, who took you to the musicals. Um, the, aside from the fact that we're all we're all locked down, there's and you're obviously busy because you've got a lot of grilling to do. But um, but there is that lockdown madness that takes a lot of people over. The fact that you think, right, okay, well, I may not have got the opportunity to do this at any other time, but to hell with it. Look where we are. This is what I'm going to do. Well, that was exactly what happened. I mean, um, <laughs> you know, as, as it happens, you know, for quite a few years, uh, people have come along and asked me to do. I mean, there are series of, you know, where people like me are asked to do singing and dancing, no names mentioned. And I've been asked about these things in the past. Normally, uh, you know, although it's always flattered to be asked, you don't have the time because, you know, there's some political crisis going on and you just don't have the time to do these things. Uh, you know, this came up at a time, you know, we've all been feeling lockdown blues. I wanted to do something different. Uh, and they just came along at absolutely the right time. And, and yeah, of course, this was a, definitely a, uh, a, a sort of, uh, a personal reaction to lockdown. I've also written a novel, believe it or not. I think I think we've all just done different things yeah. in lockdown. Than we normally do. I was um, I was going to ask you that actually because I think I mean this year has been extraordinary for somebody that this is your line of business. I mean you can't switch off from this because we find ourselves going. I, I can't watch the news tonight. I just I just can't have any more of that information coming into my head. And you can't do that by the nature of that. You have to know. You have to be involved in it. Yeah, that's right. I mean one of the things that's really interesting is over the past year how everybody has swung from I want to know as much about this awful stuff as possible to I can't take any more mm. <laughs> and as you say I don't have I don't have the, the luxury of, of, of uh, not being able to be interested there have been times when it has been grueling and depressing and, and, and I suppose the two things that have both been most challenging are one when politicians or something is poor, you know, we get 
frustrated at the best of times if you do my job when politicians don't answer the question. But when they're not answering the questions about this life and death stuff, it's particularly frustrating. Mm. And the other thing is just lots and lots and lots of people who've been desperate and in dire straits, who, you know, I'm a pretty easy person to get hold of, and they, lots of people got hold of me with just the most heartbreaking stories. Yeah. And you know, I sort of feel I have to either take it up, take their causes up, or I have to answer them personally. And it's a lot to deal with. I'm not complaining. I'm the luckiest person in the world I look, because I love my job. But, you know, for all of us, it's been a, a grueling year. It's, um, it's little wonder, then, in that case, that you find some sort of sanctuary uh, to get away from it all. With, and you say you've written your, your novel. Um, it's called The Whistleblower. Um, I'm suspecting it's got nothing to do with trains. <laughs> It's not got a lot to do with the uh, the engine, no. It's, um, uh, it's, it's uh, I, I sort of thought, uh, well, it hasn't got enough distance yet to write about sort of politics and shenanigans today. So I've written a thriller about, I, I suppose it was the general election that shaped my political thinking. And I also think it was the general election that really set us on a course uh, of, of, of sort of politics and economics and even culture uh, for the next sort of, you know, 20 plus years. So it's, it's set in 1997. It's all fiction, but it also ha tries to capture the sort of madness and spirit of the late 90s. So it's, it's a thriller about the late 90s, um, which, um, again, just doing something, you know, I've written a few nonfiction books. Writing fiction is so hard. It's the hardest bit of writing I've ever done. But also just to do something so different from what I normally do. Is it, I've is really it, is it finished? Is it out? When is it coming out? Oh, yeah. Well, actually, I mean, you caught me at uh, an apposite moment because I'm just finishing the final draft. Ah. Uh, and it's got to be handed over for <laughs> slight, slight trepidation. It's, I've got to hand it over... Uh, sort of the middle of next week, and then it's out in September. It's like handing over the, uh, like, like, if that's it, you can't touch it anymore. I know. That's it. There you go, there you go, that's exciting, it. Exciting, though, yeah. really exciting. Well, what we're talking about, though, is All Star Musicals, and this is this Sunday at 6.30 on ITV, and I literally cannot wait. Oh, you're so lovely. And if, if, if you think I'm an idiot, you don't have to tell me. <laughs> I, would, I think you're I'd really brave. and it's a, getting up there and doing it's it. It's a great thing yeah. to do. Well done, you. Um, I think that's, uh, that's, uh, that's fab fabulous to release the, uh, the inner musical yeah. artist. And you can tell us what you're going to do. What, what's, the, what's the song you're going to do? Oh, I can't do that. Um, so, yes, again... You can. Like, you're uh, allowed. Like, Slight tribute to my dad again because he loved Guys and Dolls. So I'm doing Luck Be a Lady from Guys and Dolls. There and as I go. said, the notion of me as a sort of uber cool Sky Master, <laughs> gangster, you know, if you, as you know, it was played by Marlon Brando in the film. I am no Brando. <laughs> uh, well, let us be the judge of that. <laughs> Thank you, Robert. Thank you. Good to see you. Don't forget All Star Peston tonight after the news. Oh, that's also good as well. Will you be singing? <laughs> Um, yeah, we, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm trying to work out my musical number for tonight. <laughs> Thank you very Take much. Take care. Good to see you.